Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a tic-tac-toe board and pieces using Tinkercad. The first thing that we'll need to do is create a new design, and we'll select 3D Design. First, we'll make the board pieces. In order to do this, I'll drag in a box, and I'll set the length and width of the box to 30. I will also set the height of the box to 6. Next, we'll be making the cutouts for the pieces. In order to do this, I'll drag in a tube, and I will set the radius of the tube to 13. I'll then set the wall th thickness to 4. After I do this, I'll change the shape into a hole, and I'll raise the tube 3 millimeters off of the ground. Then I'll align my board piece and my hole shaped tube and I'll select them both and group them together to remove that O from the board piece. Next, I'll drag in a square. I will set the length to 30, and I will set the height, or I will set the width to 4. Here, I'm setting the height to 10. You don't need to do this. This is just to make it a little bit easier to work with. Next, I'll copy it and I'll rotate this piece by 45 degrees. I'll make another piece, and I'll rotate it by 90 degrees. I'll select both pieces, and I'll use the Align tool to line them up together to make an X. I'll group them together, I'll raise them 3 millimeters off of the build plate, and I'll turn it into a hole. Then I'll use the Align tool to align the X and the board piece together. Now we have the template for our board pieces so that they fit into it and they won't be moving around. Next, I'm going to make the grid for our tic-tac-toe board. I'm going to set the height of this cube to 10. Actually, I'll set it to 9. I'll set the length to 92 millimeters. And I'm going to set the width of this to only 1 millimeter. Then I'll simply drag everything into position. All of these pieces should be touching, but not overlapping. I'm going to change the color just so that I can see easily when they're overlapping with each other so that I can correct it. I will copy my board piece and drag it over, and I will double, sh double check to make sure that nothing's overlapping. Then I'll copy my grid and move it over. Ah, it looks like things got a little bit jumbled, so instead of moving it by one millimeter, I'll move it by 0.5. Here, I'm just going underneath to double check my work and make sure that everything is lined up nicely. If you make a mistake like that, you can click Control Z in order to correct your mistake. Next, I'm going to need to copy these pieces, the grid pieces, and rotate them 90 degrees so I can get the horizontal section of my grid. In order to move it using precision movements, you can use the arrow keys as opposed to clicking and dragging. Don't forget to change your angle and zoom in to make sure that everything is good. That looks good. So, next I'm going to select all three board pieces by clicking on one, holding shift, and clicking on the next. That way I can select multiple. Then I'll copy and paste to move to copy all three at the same time. Then I can use the arrow keys to move them all at once, rather than having to move them individually. After I've moved them, I zoom in and double check my work. Now I can copy that last grid piece and move it into position. And after that, once again, I will hold shift and click each of my board pieces. Now I will hold shift and click each of my board pieces to select them, copy and paste all three. And then, using the arrow keys, I can move them once again all together. And this is why you must 
rotate and zoom in to double check your work and make sure that everything is lined up properly. Now we have a board, it's time to work on the pieces. The first thing that we'll drag in is a tube shape and we are going to set the radius to 12.5. My mistake, not 13. You should add, in fact set the radius to 12.5. The wall thickness should be 3. And we are going to make four copies. Unfortunately, I forgot something. We are also going to want to set the height of all of these tubes to be seven. So I'll quickly just click and edit the height on all of them by clicking that middle box and dragging it down until we get to seven on all of them. Each of these pieces need to be slightly smaller than our cutout so they fit into the holes and don't go outside. If we make them the same size, they might not fit or they will have difficulty printing, uh, fitting. Next, we'll take our box and we'll change the height to seven. We'll change the length to 28 and then we will change the width to Three. I'm having a little bit of difficulty, but there we go. Now we will copy this. We will rotate it by 45 degrees. We will paste that second straight one and we'll rotate it by 45 degrees in the other direction. Then we'll use the align tool to line them up and now we have an X. We'll click the group command to turn them into one object, and then we can copy our X's. We will need four O's and five X's for a complete set for our tic-tac-toe board. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was interesting. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed it. And if you would like to see me make a carrying case for this board for the future, please leave a comment down below. Thanks very much and have a good night.